Hello, from free students. In this section, we are going to talk about factorization using different identities. And in Form 2, you should have learned some before. For example, we have a method called taking out the common factor. Let's say we have an expression like this one, a times b plus a times c. We have a common factor of a here. And then we can just take it out and then write it as a times b plus c. And we call this method taking out the common factor. And we have another method called the grouping like terms. Let's say we have another expression a times b, a b plus a c plus x b plus x c. We can see that we don't have a common factor across all four terms. But in fact, we can find a common factor a in the first two terms and another common factor x in the last two terms. Therefore, we can group the four terms into two groups. We can write the expression as a b plus a c. We add a bracket here and then another bracket x b plus x c. And therefore we take out a like this a bracket b plus c and the other common factor x And now we have this expression. It happens that we have another command factor, b plus c here. And therefore, we apply the taking out command factor method again. b plus c times a plus x. Look, we have the a here again. And then we can write the a in the second bracket. And then we have another x here and write it inside the second bracket. And the final answer will be b plus c times a plus x. And we call this method grouping like terms. Okay, we have another quite important factorization identity in Form 2. And you should remember the name of this identity. identity. It's called the difference of two squares where a squared minus b squared equals to a plus b times a minus b. Or you can write this as a minus b times a plus b. They are just the same. And uh, this expression can be easily proved by expanding the right-hand side. We have a squared plus a b and then minus b a minus b squared and we cross out these two terms a b minus b a they cancel out each other and we come up with the expression a squared minus b squared equals to the right hand side and now just take a look at a very simple example factorize 1 minus a squared Sim 1 is a square number. We can write it in this way. 1 square minus a square. And therefore, we can easily come up with the answer. 1 minus a times 1 plus a. Oh, 